but the white flag is out. The final circuit around into turn number one. The leader has been Tyler Crott, who's been dominant. Four lead changes in 15 circuits will be the story as he leads him for the final time into turn number three and off the fourth turn. Trot is red hot. Here he comes out of the fourth corner. And for the third time this year, Tyler Trot is taken down a victory. Certainly. Walker in second, followed by Ryan Fern. I was absolutely perfect. Uh, I got to thank my crew, my dad, you know, for buying a car. I wouldn't be doing it without him. My crew chief, Jesse, for setting it up every week. My sister, Madison, for doing the tires. My girlfriend, Allison. And it is Saunders on Easy Street going into turn number three. Paul Arute is behind him, but it looks like this is Cliff Saunders' night. Off turn number four, American Sleeve Bearing brings us car number four. It will be Cliff Saunders to take down the win. The birthday boy, Paul Arute, will finish in second. Car was really good. Uh, felt like I had a really good car last week and things didn't work. I wasn't able to finish the race, but uh, car was just as good tonight. and. Uh, it was really starting to question if I was going to get another win this year. Things have, have been going pretty good, but it was been kind of up and down lately. Car's always been good, but it just seems like stuff will go wrong in the feature uh, to keep us from getting another win. But uh, it was good tonight, and uh, just want to thank everyone who's helped me out. David Arute is out in front and literally gone from the competition. He heads down the back straightaway. The Big Hoss Racing, number 75. Motors into turn number three. Ladies and gentlemen, Kane goes spinning off the turn, but the double checkers come out, and David Arut will take down the win. Finishing in the runner-up spot is Joey Graff. Yeah, I was hoping there was no cautions there at the end. I just told myself, don't look in the mirror, just keep driving it, and it seemed as though as I just kept sending it in the corner harder and harder every time. But that's awesome to stand here in victory lane, especially with the modified. Down into turn number one. Keith Rocco, Ted Christopher reels him in. Down the back straightaway, Rocco strings it out. Does Ted Christopher have anything left for Keith Rocco? Off turn number four, back on top of his game, winning here at Stafford. Keith Rocco has taken down the win in the SK Modifieds. It's always fun to race against Ted and uh, beat the best out here, but uh, you know, great battle between me and him. We ran clean, we ran side by side for five, six laps at a time. and. It was just, uh, that goes to show what respect really is between two drivers, but uh, got to say happy anniversary to my wife. I had a feeling I was going to win tonight and just uh, all the luck was on her side. After a year of turmoil, Josh Wood is back in winning style here at Stafford. He heads for the final circuit down into turn number three. Ladies and gentlemen, off turn number four. He looks to head to the checker. It is Josh Wood to take down the impressive victory in the late model division. Glenn Reen in the Alpine Tree Services car to finish in second. Sarah Ford's number 92 for Tom Fern in for third. Yeah, I know it felt like it's old self. Uh, I kind of adjusted my driving style a little bit and uh, it seemed like it was working a lot better. I wasn't overdriving the corner. Uh, I'd like to thank all my whole crew, uh, Bobby, Matt, Jordan, my dad, uh, Ernie, um, Richie, and everyone who helps out. Uh, the car was fast this week. You know, they never give up. We always work on it and work on it until, you know, it's back the way it was. Well, the 31 car, uh, he had some pretty good restarts there and uh, gave you a pretty good run there for a while. Yeah, you know, Reen's my buddy. Congratulations on the second. Uh, that would have been nicer if he was up there with me right side by side. That would have been really awesome. White flag is out. One lap to go. Donnie Lash was going to go to the inside of Dylan Kopeck and try to wrestle that position away. Down the back straightaway, they continue to go at it. Kopeck and uh, Lashua, and Kopeck is able to beat him down the back straightaway. Here Sinoco is checkers. the checker. Off the turn. John McKennedy has done it again. Rowan Pettick is in for second. And Jeff Gallup by a squeaker will finish in the third spot. Yeah, it wasn't easy. You know, it was a... A lot of good runners in the field tonight, you know, half a dozen or so run here weekly, so they definitely had a little bit of an upper hand. Um, but anyway, all season we've had a really great car. The guys have worked hard and um, things just been working out good. Um, I knew we had something there at the end. I was a little worried. I didn't know if I saved too much at the beginning and uh, it all played out.